Hey guys, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We are gonna give our kitty cat a cute little Halloween costume today. Now I've got a few of these that I have planned. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure that you're subscribed. You can hit the little bell so you get notified um, when our posts go live um, so that you get to see them first. And we've got I think I'm gonna do four different kitties this Halloween season. Um, so yes, let's just get started. If you've seen um, my kitties before, they're very simple to lay out. So I'm starting with one that has kind of the least bit of costume on top of it. So you can really see the layout of the kitty. So we're gonna start by doing our face. Now you can make these shapes however you want to create the cat of your choice, okay? So the shape of the head can be more round, more oval. You can turn this into a skinny cat, a fat cat, whatever you want, okay? Um, for this design, I don't have anything going on the side, so we're gonna use up most of the width of this rock. Our ears come up from the side of our head. That. And then for our body, this is the same. Okay, so if you want a fatter cat, maybe we'll make this one a chubbier cat. So you just make it more of a pear shape at the bottom. You can make them really wide. You can also do them tall and skinny, however you want to do. Fill that in. And then for his tail, we're gonna just kind of have it curling off to the side, kind of up and behind like that. Some of the costumes, the tail comes more into play than others on this one, um, not as much. Okay, as far as his paws, I will redot these once I get my lining down, but just do one, two, three little dots, and those will make more sense later. All right, so I'm just gonna do my basic lining on this cat. I will speed that up. You can use um, a 1M Posca or a 1MR Posca um, or my two favorites. Um, people use like the gel rollers or a micron pen, whatever you really have. Just gives it a nice outline and then we're gonna go in and start adding his costume. All right, so I messed up on one of my legs. I, I like to have his little paws, the one, two, three, with the leg in the middle. So we'll touch that up in just a little bit, but that's how I make my legs super simple and easy. Um, you can add a collar on here and fill it in however you would like to. Um, as far as the face, just an upside down triangle, little mouth, a few whiskers pulling to each side. We'll fill in that nose pink in a moment. Um, I usually have my eyes closed on my kitty cats, but we're gonna have these guys open. So we're just gonna do two little upward arches and then straight across the bottom like that. And then this kitty is gonna be dressed up in a Frankenstein style outfit. So we're gonna give him this little kind of uh, black hairline, almost like a kitty cat toupee and we'll fill that in and we're gonna make his eyes green but we want to wait until that black gets nice and dry um, on the side of his face we're gonna give him a scar okay and then on the side of the neck we're gonna do the bolts green and get in these eyes and fill them all the way green and then we'll come back with the pupil afterwards because their eyes really fill in and then we also can get in there with a really tiny I should have done the white first a really tiny bit of white on either side I better wait till that green dries. I don't want that to flood in. So we'll give that a second. I'm gonna make his collar green because I'm not gonna paint his face. A kitty cat has fur. You wouldn't be able to paint his face. So we'll do the green 
um, collar to give him a little bit more Frankenstein coloring to him. A couple dabs in the nose of our pink. It almost looks creepy without the pupils in there, right? I'm gonna touch up the leg and let these other things dry, and then we'll come back for the last details. All right, so I got my whites in there, and now I'm gonna come back with my lines for the eyes. They have very vertical pupils. On them and then I also got some silver to fill in the little bolts I you know silver is close to gray but that's why I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a different so it stands out just a smidge from the um, body of the cat and you could do these cats in any color you want you could start with an orange cat that might have been kind of fun too um, once everything dries you can go back and touch up your lining um, a little bit, like if you've got a little bit around your nose that leaked over, um, you can do things like that, but he is finished. This kitty cat is ready for Halloween. Like I said, I've got a whole bunch of kitties here that I'm gonna be doing. I will add a picture um, once I've got all of them done here at the end, so you can see the rest of them. Um, if they are all published i will have a link to them at the end but i have to release them one at a time so again make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our fun halloween kitties bye bye